hello there and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Kinsey <laughs> today we are doing the video in a different format and style I have always been in love <laughs> with the Victorian aesthetic I would never want to actually live in the Victorian era that sounds like an absolute nightmare but as far as aesthetics goes they're very pleasing to me I like the clutter, I like the textile, I like how heavy and dramatic it all was and I love compiling all of that and adding my obsession of nature and forest core and cottage core, whatever you want to categorize me as. I decided I'm going to, for the very first time, make a Victorian style lamp. I was originally inspired for this project by Christine McConnell. She is so much fun to watch, and I definitely have less money than she does, absolutely, but she gets my juices flowing, and I just, oof, I found the perfect lamp base, which is just like, oh, it's this geometrical, beautiful pattern, just metal and glass, all of the windows, it feels like a little sunroom. And it's just, it's everything that I need. So we're going to take that and we're going to bring the forest into the inside of it. <laughs> and then the entire thing, I want it to embody an Anthonita mushroom. So we're going to see how well I can pull this off. It might be a little flop or it might be the most brilliant thing I have made yet. Possibly. If you are into dark academia or cottagecore or any of the above, I think you're going to like this video and I hope I can explain everything well enough so that you too can make your own if you want to or are inspired to, which is the point of this whole video. I love to inspire and I love to show that you can do things whether you have the space or the money. As long as there's a will, there's a way. The mushrooms were again made with clay foam as I typically do. Then as always, once the painting was done for the clay, I went and added all of the moss. It really adds to the realism of it and I love the texture of moss. I just, I can't get enough of it. I don't know if you are able to tell that or not, but They were all painted with acrylic paint and this one was a earlier design so I hadn't yet sealed it with UV resin by the time I had completed it. There is also a amethyst wand on the inside of it hanging for the shade. I really really wanted it to be very Victorian. I was originally going to order a frame online and then do all the fabric myself, but it is a little time consuming and I got really, really lucky when I went to Savers. I ended up finding the perfect shade for $4, like <laughs> everything about it, the shape, it was perfect. The color I was already planning on painting and I will show you how I did that. The painting process of the shade was a lot of fun. I was not sure at all if it was going to work. What I ended up doing was taking an acrylic paint and watering it down so it wasn't very pigmented. I didn't want to completely lose what was underneath it in origin. I just wanted it to kind of have like an ombre effect so it was more dimensional and just a lot more aesthetically pleasing. The original lace design that was on the shade was so pretty. I did not want to lose it at all. After I was done with the red wash, I took white, uh, a white gesso, and lightly hand painted over all of the, the uh, lace. The fringe was a good base start. But as it's a Victorian look that I was going for, they are all about layering textiles. So I had to go on a hunt via Amazon. I found the perfect fringe that was beaded in a small chain of rhinestones, which just tied the shade and the base together. I figured the easiest approach for this would be using a clamp 
and some hot glue gun as well as taking the process nice and slow. I wanted to make sure that I could keep with the curves of the design. I didn't want to lose them at all. The rhinestones are the accent piece. It is the key element of tying everything together. So it looks like a cohesive lamp and not something I Frankenstein together. measured out each piece so that everything was the exact same length and proceeded to glue everything into place. Now for the time we have all been waiting for, here's the reveal. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this content and would like to see more of the creations and get your creative juices flowing as well, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that we stay in your algorithm. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something. If you end up making anything like this, I would absolutely love to see what you've done. So please tag me in it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. today Kinsey well it's officially winter it feels very nice I've been cooped up in the house for a week because I've been sick with COVID there's something about the cold air that just feels very fresh and crisp and I feel like my lungs need it as well as the very minimal amount of vitamin B but you know it feels good I'm basking in it <laughs>